Travel Robot Presence Top 10 Things to Do in Argentina Hey, in this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 things to do in Argentina. Argentina is an extremely diverse country, surrounded by hot deserts and humid jungles. This country is stretched from the subtropical north to the sub-Antarctic regions of amazing Patagonia in South America. Argentina also has a source of pride in its rich cultural, artistic, and architectural heritage, which offers many influences from all over the world, including its parts of colorful arts neighborhoods like La Boca and Trini districts of Palermo, Buenos Aires. This pride in culture and art heritage clearly gives a European feel and is the perfect place to start exploring the country. Argentina is also known as its best place to learn the tango, which is the most romantic form of dance. Along with all this, one can also explore the country's natural wonders with huge glaciers, which are snow-capped Andes. The delightful Iguazu Falls is also seen here. It is the world's largest group of waterfalls. So before starting this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Let's get started. Number 10. Historic Cordoba Cathedral The second largest city of Argentina is Cordoba, which is just five hours away from Buenos Aires, situated in central Argentina, and during road trip to Cordoba, the layover can happen in the Andes. During the 16th century, the buildings were made in the early colonial period, are seen here, and many other historical parts are also a site of beauty in this city. The famous historical site is Plaza San Martin, which is under UNESCO World Heritage Site, can be explored in Mendoza. The most beautiful is Cathedral of Cordoba, is present here, which is mix of neoclassical styles and Baroque. It shows the roots of Roman Catholic Church, which was built in 1580. The ornate interior is used delightfully, is the main highlight of this structure. Number 9. Mendoza Mendoza, it is the beautiful and amazing city of Argentina. It is famous for its weather changes that shows as it is summer and winters. It is a cosmopolitan city. Las Linas in Mendoza is very popular for its snowflies and skiers, and its steep terrain is very famous. Another place to see in Mendoza is Las Penitentes, which is just 25 kilometers away from Chile border. Many climbers and hikers are moving towards this place to explore and aim at the 69-60 meter top at Camcagua Mountain. Many other adventure activities is also done like rafting and trail riding which happened outdoor and along with overnight camping below the stars. Olive oil is also produced here. Many museums and annual festivals takes place in Mendoza, which offers many fun cultural activities. Number 8. Bariloche and Argentina's Lake District San Carlos Bariloche is a reputed place for adventurous. It is a well-deserved place for adventure. This place is very much known and best for the tallest peaks of Cerro Catedral. It also has the largest ski resort in Argentina and in South America also. It gains many visitors year by year. Ski Resort, Cerro Cathedral, is famous for its carrying ski terrain, which is more than 100 kilometers. And one can definitely enjoy the beautiful view of Navuulhopi National Park, popular for many lakes. That is Argentina's Lake District. Inside this national park, Bariloche is situated. It is the main tourist center for the people who wants to explore the wide range of natural beauty of the place. Number 7. Mar del Plata Mar del Plata is one of the beaches in South America, in the modern city of Argentina. It is located in the Atlantic Ocean, which is like 400 kilometers away from Buenos Aires. Chica and Grande beaches are also there, which is like 8 kilometers away from Mar del Plata. Many new resorts are made with old mansions, which is in front of waterfront along with many parks, squares and gardens. Juan Manuel Fangio Museum is also present along with beaches, dunes and cliffs, and an excellent car museum is also there dedicated to one of the greatest Formula One driver, and it contains more than 100 cars and 500 trophies displayed in the museum. Number 6. Tierra del Fuego National Park this national park is full of rivers, lakes, peaks, and more. In numbers, the visitors are attracted as it is the oldest coastal national park in Argentina. It is made in a massive area of 156,000 acre, which is extended to all ways of Lago Cami to Beetle Channel and Chilean border. The visitors are excited to explore the dramatized scenery of Ushuaia and enjoy the park's hiking trails. 
The beautiful scenery is all filled up with tall waterfalls, mountains, and dense forests. The glacier-fed lakes are also visible like Roca and Fagnano. The Senda Costura is used as a pathway. It is a popular route from Ensenada Bay, which gives the opportunity to see the wildlife and Andean condors. Ride in the Southern Fujian Railway is also considered by visitors to comfortably see the sights. It is a unique stream train. Number 5. Puerto Madryn and Valdez Peninsula The shady place on the Patagonian coast is Puerto Madryn, which is situated on the shores of Golfo Nuevo. It is the most popular cruise destination of Argentina, which was found by Welsh settlers in 1886. It is famous for its deep water port and excessive of natural reserve. It also offers water sports particularly for windsurfers, who love to deal with harsh Patagonian wines. The famous attractions also includes Natural Science and Oceanographic Museum. It is located in a beautiful building of heritage, which displays the flora and fauna of Patagonia and overlooks the harbor, in addition to visibility of giant squids' performances. Another UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is popular for diverse wildlife, is Valdez Peninsula. If you are a nature lover, you will love visiting here, for sure. You must take a guide to explore this place, as usually people many things unseen from whales to elephant seals and many more. It is a must to go through breeding ground of shorebirds. Number 4. Ushuaia. The end of the world. Patagonia is popular for its stunning landscapes, which is a mixture of Andes and the specular plains and plateaus. Located at the southern part of Argentina, the world's southernmost city is Ushuaia, the most adventurous city, which was settled in the early 20th century as a punitive area. For trips to Antarctica, now the famous jumping off point is made. Another town, Beagle Channel, is seen by exclusive landscapes of mountains, glaciers, and sea and on the side of Tierra del Fuego National Park woods are seen with amazing view, scenic view, and wide range of flora and fauna. San Juan de Salvamento Lighthouse, established in 1984, is another popular place, which is also known as End of the World Lighthouse, made on the Isla de los Estados. The End of the World Museum is well known for its aquatic Arctic frats and scale models, along with the region's history, and many penal colonies are worth visiting. Number 3. Buenos Aires, the city of Barrios. Buenos Aires is the largest and most attractive city of Argentina. It is also called the Paris of Argentina. It is the most popular city with beautiful destinations like Patagonia. There are many things to explore in this city like museums, art galleries, which are housed in the old colonial buildings situated all over the city. Don't forget to visit La Boca. It is the most colorful neighborhood and Caminito Street, Museum is located here. It is an open-air museum, which shows the beauty of painted houses, openly tango classes, with entertainment of sculptures. Fashionable Recoleta is not to be missed here. The Recoleta Cemetery is located that explains the mausoleums containing of many famous people of Argentina as Eva Avita. Perón surrounded with many public gardens, museums, art galleries, cafes, and boutique shops. Other places to see here if you have time are Palermo and Belgrano, as they have amazing and huge boulevards with palatial mansions, and the favorite of all tourists is delightful Plaza de Mayo. Number 2. Perito Moreno Glacier The most popular place in Argentina is Los Glaciers National Park. It is the hub for tourists. It is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It is situated in the small town of El Calafate which has many options of accommodation and other facilities to visitors. Many visitors plan an excursion to see these glaciers. The most famous Perito Moreno Glacier is the world's largest freshwater reserve, and the ice forms in around 30 km long or more sometimes. This is just 78 km away from the town. It is just two hours' drive from El Calafati. From there, it is a short walk to ice trekking tours are available who wants to climb the glacier offers five-hour excursion altogether over the ice formation. One more major part of this national park is Monte Fitzroy, which is 3359 meter tall. It is a spectacular, beautiful mountain surrounded around the border of Chile. Very hard to climb as compared to Everest also. Number 1. Iguazu Falls The beautiful Iguazu Falls is situated near Argentina's border with Brazil along with Iguazu National Park 
that is on the Argentina side and Iguacu National Park, which lies in Brazil. These waterfalls are stunning view of South America as it is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It is very easy for tourists to reach these waterfalls as there are very easy accessible walkways and the platforms are designed to give the best views of the waterfalls. These platforms are known as Devil's Throat. Iguaza is a group of waterfalls including 150 to 300 falls together with the edge of 3 km. The number of waterfalls changes according to the season which varies in height of 60 to 82 meters and each is stunning as the next. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. And if you like it, please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have further questions, feel free to comment down below. See you in the next video.